got a continuous rail that is somehow supported off this thing. It continues going over to the side. Does this mitigate the requirement to have a cap, a guard on the glass? If it's tied to the post directly through the glass into the post, I would say you don't need the cap. But if if the bar is only held to the glass without tying to the post, then if the glass goes, then. But is, wouldn't that be the same thing as having a top cap if the glass goes? It's still supported by the adjacent panels. That grab bar is still supported by the adjacent panels. That center panel just broke. I'm gonna go with that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Because I think everybody, if you're falling, you're still not going to go for the glass. If there's a bar yeah. six inches away from it, but you're going to go for the this, bar. This bar is always going to be in front of the glass. So yeah. you're not going to have that impact on the glass. You're going to have the, the 50 pounds per one square foot on the panel. But you have grab bar with you. That but that's not the way the that codes. ICC officials interpret the code. The ICC officials have determined that even if you have a railing there and you have a higher edge of the glass, that that higher edge of the glass, no matter independent of whether or not you have a rail, has got to have a structural top cap to be able to resist that load or be designed to resist that load. That means that anytime we have a panel that's higher than the glass, it's 200 pound point load at the top edge or 50 pounds per lineal foot at whatever top edge that can, there is. Can I bring up another example quickly here? Yeah. This is, uh, you have you essentially have three panels. You have a step up here. This is a guard application. It's at the top of a balcony. Um, you, have, you do have top caps running along here. You have posts in here. This is a six foot tall panel. What do you do with it? You have posts running on all sides of the yep. glass? Yep, there are posts. And it's a pole hazard? Yes. yes. You have to so, take the 200 pound load on the glass. Okay, but and remember these need a top cap in order if, if these plies break, that top cap takes the load. Your top cap's up here, six six feet up. Is there not something in the code that has like the height of the top cap where it specifies? So usually it's 42 four, yeah. inches above mm -hmm. finished floor. So what do you do with a six foot panel? What happens if the panel breaks? I'd say it's gotta be laminated. There's gotta be something connecting a grab bar or something, right? Going so, from the upper height down to the step? Well, the one, Stuart and I had talked about this, and what I was suggesting, you have to have some type of a grab bar running right across here. Because if this breaks, you have to have something to, mm -hmm. to prevent that fall. Even though you have a top cap up here, that top cap's not gonna do anything for a six foot tall panel. But if you can prove that with the post supporting the glass, because you have a shoe and a post on each side, if you can prove that both the 50 pound per linear foot on the actual glass surface and the 200 point load, if you can prove that the glass can resist that safely, do you still need to go through? I mean, what's the difference between that and a windscreen where you have a whole bunch of these tall windscreens that are just pure glass the the windscreens though those aren't windscreens are usually I don't know if they're covering up a mechanical area or they're not windscreens I've never considered as guard applications they can be they, then in that just case like a I would say piece of glass that's supported the at the top and the, and the bottom at the so are we saying but in but in that case well I think I, what's yeah. is if there's a glass application like this, if anybody can walk next to it, even if it's around the perimeter of a roof and there is a parapet, you know, and it's on top of the parapet, on, somebody walking laps around the roof or whatnot for every, whatever reason, they could still trip and fall and go right into the On, on windscreens, though, 
And again, this gets back to approval of the building official. I would have to imagine that there's some consideration for cases such as that. Um, this gets into a really gray area. Whenever you but, start intermixing different systems together, it really becomes a gray area in, in how Could we the, justify not having a bar if we can show in that blood that the glass can safely take it out? I don't know the it. answer. I but, really don't because but then don't it's you, a good case because you, but, have, you, have, you have a requirement over here for a top cap. And you have a requirement over here for a top cap. So if you leave this, I, I, I don't know what happens here. Because so, in the regular code, I think for a windscreen, there is not necessarily a requirement for a top cap or a guard rail. So I think as long as the panel is designed. When, when they talk about windscreens in the code, though, are they considering that it's this type of an application? Yeah, I, or you know, is it just a generic windscreen that's never meant to be to be used as a fall guard? I don't know. I don't know How that can we can justify that? Well, I think the fall guard takes it. precedence over the fact that you're calling it a wind windscreen or a guard. If, if it's preventing a fall hazard, it doesn't matter if they call it a wind guard. It's, you need to prevent the fall hazard. The architects are creating these things and are calling them windscreens, you know, where they're taller than the 42 inches, so they, where they have taller glass panels. They become very difficult to, to, uh, to, to utilize them unless you get real thick glass because yeah. the wind yep. becomes the issue and the overriding safety factor that you, know, that you need to protect against. Javier, the one thing you said about, okay, what if we prove the glass can stand the load, then why wouldn't you say for the lower levels with the top cap, you don't need the top cap because we can prove that the glass can support the load? I you, think you, you I was getting more at, okay, how is this, you, you would need to be a giant to load this thing <laughs> to from load the, it top. At the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, the, the, here. the load would be applied. When they say applied at the top cap, that's always going to be at the 42 inch level. That's yeah. how tall those guards typically are. So in a case like this, your load, if I'm applying an impact load, it would be at 42 inches yeah. above the uh, finished floor. Um, but do we need, I think we need a, a cap because it's a, typically a 42 inches and that's typically where you use you know. Oh, right, right. What I, was, what I was telling Stuart is that I thought that we need, you, you, clearly you can't have a cap running across a six foot panel. You're gonna need to have that, some type of a grab bar that runs across that, yeah. that section. What yeah, kind of here, here's here's the thing that may... It's a balcony. It's just a step up thing. Here's so the there, thing there could be stairs going up to the step. Um, so. so here's the thing that may determine all this is the definition of balustrade. So for a glass balustrade, you have different criteria than for just your typical guard because anything can serve as a guard. Any material that prevents a person from falling to another story is a guard. And so we get into guard type applications where we just have, you know, full insulated glass panels that are preventing, you know, somebody from or even laminated glass panels in a in a storefront system that prevent somebody from falling down. So it may be in the definition of Bellastra. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look more into that. That's a this is an odd one. That's a <laughs> I I don't know what the answer is on that. I would take the case of being conservative. Yeah, I'm curious because I explained this to this was for a, a brand new client that was yeah. recommended to us, and I explained all this to them, and they were initially looking for some prelim engineering. I'm like, you guys should probably get this worked out on what's required for this area, and then come back to us if you need engineering on it but they they understood they actually just sent us more work which is good good discussion